literally they better lock these up. The Swifties are gonna take them? No, I am. You're gonna take them. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. Today is a special one. I am here with my daughter London. And as you can see by her cardigan, she is a Swifty. Would you say that you're a Swifty? I mean, yes. Yes, she definitely is a Swifty. So we thought that it would be fun to come to Nashville and go to all of the Taylor Swift places here. So this is a mural, it's at Legends Corner in Nashville, and it's a bunch of the legends of country music. But something controversial happened back in 2020 with Brad Paisley right here. He's one of the legends, but before 2020, he wasn't there and the artist made a decision to erase Taylor Swift. This used to be Taylor Swift. We'll throw the picture up online. The artist got mad that Taylor was what? Switched to pop music? Yes. So they didn't fully like get rid of her, so you can see her hair, like right there. That's her hair? Yes. This is Willie Nelson. He does have braids that come down. But then right there, that is not Willie Nelson's hair. That is Taylor Swift. There is a piece of her behind Brad Paisley that is still there. She'll never leave because they can't get rid of her. Forever. Can't get rid of her. So this is one of those that a lot of Swifties know, but some people don't know about Legends Corner. We have some awesome places to go to. The Grand Ole Opry, Country Music Hall of Fame, her favorite restaurant. There's just a lot of stuff that we're gonna try to find in this video and we're gonna bring you along for the adventure. So these guys are singing right there, Tom Petty. Then you come right next door, more people singing. Live music everywhere. Okay, the rumor is, here at the Country Music Hall of Fame, Taylor has some dresses and artifacts and interesting things, so we're gonna go investigate and see if we can find some Taylor Swift authentically worn dresses, I think. I am unwell. Unwell. I am unwell. Would Swifties want to go there? I'm shaking in my cowboy boots <laughs> right now. I'm not, this is... Definitely worth the trip coming to the Country Music Hall of Fame. We saw a couple of dresses. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you think she like that's the one that she actually wore? Yeah, of course. It's a museum. The boots are skinny. Look how intricate it is. Oh. That is crazy. It's the Oh wow. A couple of guitars. An album that was signed, her first album, right? This is the one that she She crashed it in yeah. the album? In the album. In the song? Video. Like literally they better lock these up. The Swifties are gonna take them? No, I am. You're gonna take them? I am. That was really cool. That was, I can't even, I need like a couple years to wrap my, my mind around what I just witnessed. And wow. I witnessed history. Was it cooler than seeing her hair painted on a wall? Yes. <laughs> At the mural place. All right, if you are a Swiftie, you need to go to the Country Music Hall of Fame because they've got actual clothing and guitars. That was pretty awesome. Now, off to the next place. Okay, we are at Centennial Park, London. Why are we at Centennial Park? What does that have to do with Taylor Swift? We are at Centennial Park because in her song, Invisible String, she says green was the color of the grass where I used to read in Centennial Park. Is the grass green, Dan? It is not green, it's yellow. So does that mean Taylor Swift is um, washed up and too old now, but it isn't as popular? It means that it's winter, Dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> seasons. So she says green is the grass, which it is not green, but why else would we come here? Because there's a bench that says for Taylor Swift to read at Centennial Park or something like that. So we need to find that bench. Where is the bench? That's a good question. <laughs> we will find the bench. That's what we will do. How would you rate your Taylor Swift tour so far? How many stars would you rate me out of five? I would rate you Nine stars because you're really good at listening to the things that I tell you about this stuff. That's amazing. Nine out of five is so good. <laughs> <laughs> There's people in the bench texting on their phones. She's taking pictures of the ducks. She really likes the ducks. Let's go find the bench. Go on the bench. Oh my goodness. Oh look, they put fresh grass down. So it's more green. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at it. What does look it say? Read it. Read it. A bench for you to read on. And this is the folklore font. The wow. folklore font? Wait, 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 let's, let's compare. This is the folklore font, folklore album. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty similar. <laughs> Can I sit down? Yeah, it's a bench. Wow, it is so right. You have a view of that big old Greek building, which, fun fact, 
I went to the actual Greek building in Rome this summer. It looks just like that. <laughs> we did the bench. We so did it. Oh All right, Taylor Swift thing number three, go to the bench at Centennial Park. We did it. Done. Now, number four, what is the fourth thing that we're gonna do? We have a few options. One of them's gonna be really quick. One of them's gonna take a long time. Let's do the quick one. Let's go. You know what, I didn't think I had that much in common with Taylor Swift, but apparently I do. She loves pancakes, and this place, the Pancake Pantry, is her favorite pancake place here in Nashville. She came here many times when she was up and coming. She even came here on a date with Taylor Lautner, who is there, like, isn't he there, like the werewolf guy? Yes. We are on a speed run of Taylor Swift things for this video, so I don't think we're gonna go in and try her favorite sweet potato pancakes with powdered sugar on it, but man, that sounds really good. Still very cool. Can you believe that you came to the same place that Taylor's been to eat pancakes? It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> the next spot is the Grand Ole Opry. Not old, Ole Opry. This is a place that Taylor came when she was really young, right? Do you have any information about this place? She came here when she was really young. Okay, really, really interesting. We just went to get tickets and they just sold out for the day. Even though they have a tour every 30 minutes, they have one special tour of women in country that is like a longer one and they have tickets for that. So I was like, that would be perfect. Let's do the women of country tour. Turns out the women of country does not have Taylor Swift as part of it. Isn't that weird? This is just a ticket person, but I just asked like, is it because she switched over to pop? And they're like, no, there's other people that switched to pop and we still respect them. But I can't help but feel a little weird that the Grand Ole Opry, we're literally here just for Taylor Swift. She performed here. She's a country artist. She won best album of the year. That was a country album. Squirrels. Squirrels. Oh my goodness, look how cool it's like. We get distracted easily. <laughs> like a dog. Back in the day when Taylor had the album and Kanye went on the stage and like, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. She got kind of disrespected and she did country back then. And now that she switched over to pop, some of the country people seem to abandon her. It's kind of weird how much disrespect she gets from both sides. Like, you can't just respect the artist and the music and all the things that she's done. Right in the heart of Nashville, which was her hometown, there's still a little bit of a level of disrespect because she's not all in on country. I don't really like that. So we're going to do the tour in this video of the Grand Ole Opry, but for us, it's gonna to be tomorrow. For now, we're gonna to go to a different Taylor Swift place. Grand Ole Opry across the street, we've got the Opry Mills Mall, Madame Tussauds, and look at that. There may be a wax figurine of Taylor Swift. Wax Taylor, does that sound Mission. fun? Go. Mission go. That's exactly what I was thinking. Wax figures are super interesting. That is weird. It's weird to see the wax version of someone. I don't like it too close. <laughs> you like jump scare me. Hey guys, I thought these people were looking at me. It's just. Say, hey, guys. hey guys, everybody was like happy to see me, but no, they're all wax. Hey, what's up? Okay, oh, Whitney's here. What's up, Whitney? Stand by, stand by Whitney, let's get a picture. Whitney Houston. Oh, hey, buddy. It's like a haunted house a little bit. Go ahead. Yeah, head into the Nashville recording studio. Yeah, of course that's all this. What do you mean? It's kind of creepy. They don't look a lot like people, but they don't not look like people. So it's like, how do I act in these? There's Ozzy Osbourne. Is it bad that I don't know who like, any of these people are? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's time for the meet and greet for Taylor. We found her. I'm curious to see how tall you are compared to her. She has heels on though. We did it. We found her. This is so weird. I like don't know how to. Her skin looks real. And there she is, in the flesh. Michael. Wow, looks very real. I want to see how tall you are compared to Michael Jackson. There's my favorite right there. Now we're talking, Katy Perry. I'm a Katy Perry stan. JT, Rihanna. Oh, Bruno Mars, my Filipino friend right there. JT, good pose, nice work. Let's hear it, oh, everybody's cheering. 
yourself. You see these places all the time. You see these these Tassads, what are they called? Madame Tassads places. They're all over the, the country, right? Really. Did you like that even though you know it's all wax? It was really creepy with the people that I didn't know. Like it was like, why are you looking at me? But also, like, it was kind of cool though. So if you can like trick your friends and call them, it's it would be kind of funny. I don't know. Yeah, but the the Taylor one was kind of cool, right? It's worth yeah. seeing. It was really weird though, because my brain is like, Taylor, not Taylor, looks like Taylor, but it's not Taylor. So it was like, what is what is my brain is really like, overload. Yeah. So definitely not one of those places that when you come to Nashville that you have to go to. It's not unique to Nashville, but considering that we couldn't get in to the Grand Ole Opry until tomorrow. It was a good stop. Okay, here's what's going down. We are at a butterfly mural painted by Kelsey Montague. And in 2019, Taylor did a album called Lover and she announced it. She had this Kelsey Montague actually make like a colorful version of this. And then it was only up for like a few weeks and then they got rid of it. But this is a place where everybody goes still to get pictures by the butterfly. You've got to get a picture by the butterfly thing. It's kind of a Taylor thing. Okay, go for it. It's your moment to shine with the butterfly wings. Here we go. Butterfly. Checked. Check that off the list. So how many places have we gone to that are like Taylor places? Ooh. Maybe six? Well, that's what I would think. It's pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, killing also, it. Also, um, six album is Reputation. Reputation Taylor's version. That is the Easter egg. There it is. Taylor I don't is know hinting. what that means, but okay. Taylor's hinting it. Wow. <laughs> All right, we are back the next day at the Grand Ole Opry. We've got our tickets. I'm gonna see how many times they mention Taylor Swift. Will you pay attention to that? We're gonna ask the tough questions like, why don't you recognize her in the women of country? That's my question. All right, we just finished our tour of the Opry. No videos allowed, only photos. So we'll throw some photos here as we talk about it. There was one joke about Taylor Swift and it was when they were talking about guitars, there were Gibson guitars on the ceiling that were $90,000, and they said, that's almost the same cost as a Taylor Swift era's tour ticket. He's not wrong. I guess I was going into it with the idea of maybe they don't necessarily love Taylor Swift because she didn't accept the invitation to be a member. Part of it is they tell you to be an Opry member. It's a big deal, but it also is a commitment of time, and effort, too. and a commitment like of country. But there was a picture of her in there. We found it. There's 13 rooms for the artist dressing rooms. And the very, very first one is where they put artists that aren't members yet and it's their first time there because then everybody walks by and says hi to them and talks to them, all the other artists. And so one of the first ones was the one that Taylor Swift had a picture inside of it. Even though she's not a member, at least they gave her a picture. They had a picture in there of hers. So question for you, London, was the Grand Ole Opry or the Wax Museum more fun? Ooh, uh, that's, I feel like the Grand Ole Opry was because there's more things to see. But if you like want to see Taylor, one. They both were very cool. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, Grand Ole Opry, very cool. These are the things that we did on our special trip to Nashville to see Taylor Swift things. I'm sure we left some stuff out, so let us know in the comments what things we should have gone to, and then maybe on the next trip, we'll have to visit those places. But really fun trip, and I'm becoming a Swifty. I am Yay! becoming a certified Swifty. And we also stayed in a Taylor Swift-inspired Airbnb last night. If that video is out right now, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description. That was also one of the highlights of the trip, but now we have a flight in an hour and a half and we gotta go. See ya. Green was the color of the grass where I used to read in Centennial Park. I used to think I'd meet somebody there. Wow, that was a really cool jump. Backwards jump. Woo, look at that jump. I look so weird holding a camera. If you guys only yeah, knew what it's like. Yeah, everybody looks here. Like most, a lot of places they don't really look as much, yeah. but here they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Insert office theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. 